Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwantner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Rick Page, who is the author of a wonderful book called Hope is Not a Strategy. Rick, welcome. Thank you, Gerhard. Glad and you are also the CEO of your company. Yes, yes. And you have about 14 consultants and your mission in life is to make sales management easier. Right, exactly. And we've trained in about 50 countries and we've probably trained, uh, you know, couple hundred thousand salespeople, and I've spoken about the same number in speeches that I've given. So, so what do you absorb from uh, the market out there? What, what is the state of the art of sales leadership right now? Uh, sales leadership has some challenges going on right First of all, sales managers are working extremely hard right now. And there's no doubt about that because they're fighting competition. they got total accountability. The, a lot of them are getting goals set by uh, Wall Street that really have no relationship to bottom-up planning. <laughs> And they come down, and, um, and, and that's hard for them. So I have a webinar just about this time of year saying, how am I going to make that number? Because um, you know, sales managers have a hard time when somebody else sets their goal for a big stretch. And, and the, the other problem is, is that uh, there's a general lack of uh, training out there for sales managers. Um, we take our best performer and promote them. And the skill sets are all different, and the things that made you a good salesperson, uh, like the ability to get people to like you, may work actually against you as a manager. And so the universities don't teach this stuff, a few are starting to. And most of the vendors' methodology teach how to manage their process. And um, so we built a sales management academy and just four sales managers on hiring, uh, deal coaching, and, and performance development, which is actually uh, a very few companies are growing salespeople over the long term. Most of them have a very Darwinian process of, of, um, of uh, survival or, or, or go. So what I hear you saying is that there's a tremendous amount of tension between the human capacity to adapt and learn and the dictates of uh, people with power who want their money to grow. Right, right. And um, the, the uh, the challenge is uh, there's two kinds of personalities, as you know, from like disc profile. We, we teach that and uh, we teach for salespeople so they can align with their prospects, but also the high I personality who is the relationship oriented person. Um, you know, that used to be the model for salespeople and now you need more competency as a salesperson on, on solving not just solutions but strategic solutions. But sometimes these personality based managers get their job and um, they've got to make a decision. Do they, they want to be loved or do they want to lead? And what happens is we see some of them start and they hire, usually in their own image. They aim them to the process, here's your playbook, go get them. And then they cheerlead, everything's about motivation, you know. And then the ones that fail, they weed them out, churn them and burn them, and go get some more. And right. we think that's an extremely right. expensive way to develop salespeople. Right. The more process-oriented sales managers um, will either hire a sales ops person or call us or something or bring out their analytical skills, but they'll build a sales process based on their buyer's buying process, which is different by industry. Mm -hmm. Then you back into the competencies that you need to build your hiring profile and the questions that you're going to need. And then you build a coaching process on top of that for the managers to help them with their deals before they get in trouble. And uh, if you don't have that in place, um, you can do all the forecast gyrations you want to, but without a good analysis and a manager set of eyes, you're just adding up bad numbers right. faster. So then um, if you'll then take that coaching, they'll get the best performance out of it and the least turnover. And I, like, I think a lot of companies don't see the cost of turnover because you don't take a write-off when a good salesperson goes out the door. Right. If you did, your CFO would be your biggest fan of the sales department. But it's invisible, and our calculations that we do with our classes, it comes out that the cost of a bad hire, for whatever reason, is one to two times quota. That's hugely expensive. And so what a sales manager needs to do is move their Bs to sell like their As, get their Cs out of the organization, because we find that they are dragging down the sales managers, rescuing their deals, and many of these Cs are never going to make it up to here. Right. And um, that means that the sales managers are not helping the B's become A's. Right. 
And every coaching opportunity is a teaching opportunity. It's not mm -hmm. just about winning the deal, it's about right. growing the rep. Otherwise, you get that Darwinian process of churn and burn. Well, thank you, Rich. We're going to continue our conversation tomorrow where we dig a little bit deeper into the sales process and why solution selling seems to be dead. Mm -hmm.